Aside from the occasional threat of nuclear war, we will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. UN General Assembly Week is a decidedly tedious affair, full of boring speeches, bland pronouncements, and drab cocktail parties. But for one diplomacy superfan, there's no better time to be alive. This is my hobby. Okay. I collect baseballs signed by world leaders. Even Pope Francis signed for me two months ago. Hamani al bin Khalifa al Thani signed a baseball for me. I started this collection 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. President Bill Clinton was the first one that I got to sign. This is the ball that Mandela signed for me, Barack Obama. Would it be possible to get the Emir to sign one now? Well, I don't know about that. It's not that easy. It would mean with the rest of the balls. Thank you. And the key is you really want to find somebody who's willing to be helpful. And which delegation are you with, Ivory Coast? Yes. It would mean the world to me if I could get the president to sign this for my collection. Okay. Uh, he's going to be coming soon, so if you can. Okay. Can I wait here? Yeah, would you? Can wait you... Thank you so much. I do not have the Ivory Coast president, so I'm I mean, thrilled. President Dewatra, yes. Looking like, uh, forward to getting this. This is a major score for me. This is the Super Bowl of autograph collecting for someone like myself who collects world leaders. Mr. President, how are you, sir? Can you please sign this for me? Sir? You have 200 plus heads of state okay. from all over yes. the planet conferring at the UN. No, wait, please, just, just wait. It's not that easy to infiltrate the inner circles of world leaders. I, I'm at a loss right now. I kind of doubt that he's walking me back there to the luncheon, but you never know. In my collection, I have approximately 350 baseballs that were signed by heads of state, heads of government, and I have all the first ladies from Betty Ford to Michelle Obama. I do not have Melania Trump yet. As an autograph collector, I never go anywhere without at least a dozen baseballs. You never know who you're gonna meet. And Mr. Trump, Vaclav Havel, Benazir Bhutto, Paul Martin from Canada, John Dramani Mahama from Ghana. Here's the Matthew Karakal one, the one who didn't speak English at all. Look at that signature. He had no idea what a baseball was. A lot of people will question, hey, are the ball's for sale. You couldn't pay me enough. This is my heart and soul that's gone into this for over 20 years. You can't put a price on it. In 1993, I took a, a drive up to Cooperstown to the Baseball Hall of Fame, and there was this wonderful exhibit of baseballs that were thrown out by presidents dating back to the turn of the uh, 20th century. From that moment on, I decided I was going to start collecting signed baseballs from world leaders and heads of state, and a concept in my head was diplomacy through baseball. You guys think you could help a brother out and just steal me a piece of bread or something? I'm diabetic, I gotta get some food or something. You guys want some bread? I'll have the guy bring out a loaf of bread or something, no? Thank you very much, it means a lot to me, it really does. All right. How about I just keep the napkin, I'll give you the bread basket back, all right? All right. Thank you. <sighs> the life of an autograph collector. Mr. President, how are you, sir? I was, I'm Randy. I, I was Henry, that's why. Thank you so I much. Know I'm all right. Thank you, sir. God bless you and have a great day. Okay. Mr. President, yeah. thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you all very much. Woo. All right. This is amazing. It was worth the wait. Let's go get some more, guys.